students welcome back to our channel parnika sejulo in this video we are going to discuss about dimensions dimensional formula and dimensional equation okay first of all i will explain an example in that example only i will explain all those three what are those dimensions dimensional formula and dimensional equation okay are you ready to yes let's go Dear students, I will take one physical quantity as an example to understand these two. Okay, speed is a physical quantity, right? What is the formula for the speed? The formula for the speed is what? Distance by time. Then, what is the SI unit for the speed? Meter per second, right? Is it necessary to remember or to by heart meter per second is the unit for the speed? not only for the speed any physical quantity like a velocity acceleration is it necessary to by heart the si unit for these physical quantities no need if you know the definition it is easy to write the formula and if you know the formula it is easy to write si unit also right see let's see how it is so distance is nothing but what length only length is what fundamental physical quantity that is si unit for the length is what meter right meter per second or also can be written as meter per second writing is in two ways but the pronunciation is same okay so this is the si unit of speed and what how to write the dimension formula for this let's see so usually the dimension formula can be represented by three basic physical quantities those are mass length time enclosed with square brackets first of all write like this and how many what is m here m is what mass and l is what length and t is what So first of all, write like this. And is there any mass? Is there? This is m means meter. Okay, mass means kg. Unit is kg, right? So any mass is there? No. So keep power as zero. Okay. And length is there? That is meter. Unit for the length is meter. Is there? Yes. So write power one. Powers we have to write. Okay. And time is there? Yes, it is. Second is a time, right? SI unit of time is second, but it is in denominator. So if it comes to the numerator, it will become minus one. Okay. So kg is zero. There is no kg in this unit. And how many lengths are there? Means meter. How many meter are there? One. So L power one we have to write. And how many seconds are there? One only. That too in the denominator. Once it comes to the numerator, it will become minus one. Okay, so n power zero, l power one, t power minus one. These are the this is the dimensional formula. Okay, next. Then what is the dimensions? Dimensions are what? Dimensions are nothing but powers. Powers to represent the base quantities. Okay, so these are the basic quantities, right? These are the powers. so if i want to write the dimensions for the speed physical quantity then 0 in mass 1 in length minus 1 in time so these three are the dimensions these three are dimensions of speed physical quantity okay these dimensions describes nature of the physical quantity okay these dimensions describes nature of the physical quantity okay so these are the three dimensions what are those zero in mass means there is no mass Ma plus one in length means lengths are only one length is there Minus one in time means there is a time in the denominator. It shows. Okay, so these are the dimensions. And 
what is dimensional equation? This is the dimension formula. So inside the terms are dimensions. If these terms, basic quantities, are enclosed with the square brackets, then it becomes the dimension formula. Okay. Then what is dimension equation? If you equate physical quantity of speed can be represented with a symbol V. We know that, right? That should be enclosed in a square brackets. If you equate this dimension formula with this physical quantity, then this equation is called dimensional equation, right? So, what is this? Dimensions are what? The powers to which the base quantities are rise to represent the physical quantity. Okay, so this one. 0 in mass, 1 in length, minus 1 in time. These are the dimensions. If you enclose these dimensions in a square brackets, that is called dimensional formula. Okay, if you equate with that physical quantity like this, then it is called dimensional equation. Understand? Yes. I hope you understand the difference between dimensions, dimensional formula and dimensional equations through this example. Not only with this example, any example you can take and you can get the all these three. I hope you understand this concept. If you want to watch more videos, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.